Good morning guys, today we are here at Kungwini 4x4 We're gonna start the day off with a basic training track with, with all the obstacles lined up there And then we're gonna go on the eco track that starts here through the bush uh, We've already deflated the tires to 1.5 bar to give us good traction uh, To access this facility is 400 Rand for the bucket and then there's no, lim well, no limits to the people you can have in it With a normal bucket it's usually 4 people so yeah, we'll take you along the journey and show you all the obstacles we cross, so let's go! Guys, remember to always walk the obstacles before you attempt it to make sure that you understand what is lying ahead of you to save your vehicle and to save the environment you are driving on.
problem with mud puddles. You don't know how deep it is and how soft the sand is. So we skipped this one because the middleman was too high. It may damage vehicles. We already rescued another vehicle before we even started the track. So just check out for this. We asked the instructor that was busy teaching people in front of us on this track if this uh, model here was accessible for normal 4x4s and he said yes this mud puddle has a bit more of a rocky bottom so it doesn't get as muddy and it won't get easily stuck and then we watched a few cars pass through it in front of us so we thought we'll give it a try ourselves. After a short drive on the Echo route, you get to this section and this is the first obstacle you enter the more advanced side of it. There's a lot of obstacles that go in and out of this riverbed. You can choose to drive past it or tackle the obstacle. As you'll see here, we did a few of them, a few of them were a bit inaccessible. So, let's show you the other ones we did.
Ik kan sterk die kant toe. Nog, nog, nog sterk. Daar zijn we. Well, as you guys saw now, we did quite a few obstacles there on the more advanced section after the training grounds. Now, unfortunately, some of the obstacles needs a bit of maintenance, so they were not accessible for our normal capable vehicles. Obviously, if you have a very lifted car or buck, you'd be able to do them. So we decided not to do the whole eco route. It's already almost one o'clock in the afternoon. So we decided after all the obstacles, we're going to go back to the reception area. Apparently there's some braai facilities, so we're gonna make a fire there and have a, a braai for some lunch, so then we'll show you 
what else this place has to offer as you enter the gate as you on said it's 400 rand per car or per vehicle with the people in it um, you can only pay cash or EFT signals not too bad for the EFT so you can do it but I think I suggest just bring cash it's much easier like that when you enter you'll get this whole brochure leaflet shows you where to drive what's where uh, it's very informative where all the trucks hit it's nicely marked and yeah keep on the trucks and protect the nature all the facilities we used was very nice and clean and well looked after so that's a definite thumbs up for them great job guys Yeah, so we just completed our braai. It was nice to just sit and relax after an adventurous day. I would say it's definitely worth it to come out here for the day and bring your family along. This facility also offers a boma area which you can rent out to make fires at night. And there's also a lapa here behind me that you can rent for functions or they also offer the training from this lapa here. I would say in general it's definitely worth the money to, to spend to come out here. And then yeah, thank you for joining us on this adventure. It was definitely Great testing our 4x4 capabilities and I think the fort and the, the Morocco uh, they stood well against all the ch challenges that we put to it. So yeah, thank you for joining us on this adventure and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.